This is Hydrogen Tap. If you've been watching the last videos, uh, you've noticed, at least on the last video, that there's been an interesting find, if you want to call it that. I've got a focus, my focus cell in the center here, connected to a 12 volt battery. I've got two plates, one here and one on the other side, exactly like it, that aren't connected to anything. What you see, the wires here, or the jumpers here, they're connected to these meters. This meter right here is registering right now the voltage across the two blank plates. I'm going to call them blank because I don't like the word neutral. So it's 0.13 volts across the two blank plates. This meter right here is measuring the amperage going through the focus cell. And the interesting meter right here, I've got hooked so that I've got a buzzer connected across the two blank plates. And when I hook that on there, you're going to hear it ring, which is going to be surprising. But what we're trying to do is discern whether or not when we hook this up to the two blank plates, is it drawing any current from the focus cell? So in other words, we want to see if it makes a change. And I think you're going to be as surprised as I was. So let me turn it on. And there goes the focus cell. That's the voltage across the two blank plates, 4.63 volts. This is the amperage of the voltage of the focus cell, which is 7.37 amps. Right now, there's no amps going to the horn. <coughs> Getting a little rough in here. That's the focus. <coughs> that's that's the focus cell. Okay, now I'm going to hook this horn to it, which is going to be interesting. I'm assuming you can hear that. It's really loud. It's not showing any amperage drawing. Very, very little, but it's still there. And we got 7.40 amps being drawn without, with the buzzer on. Now I'm going to take it off. Seven, four, three, four. Now I'm going to put it back on again here. It's not affecting it because there's not enough draw. We'll have to put something else on here. Okay, what I've done is put a LED light on here which is drawing 0 0.05 amps and if you look real close you'll see the focus putting out its toxic putting out its hydrogen fuel and now what I'm going to do is disconnect the light the focus is drawing 7.47 I'm going to disconnect the light now for 7 It's staying at 747. I'm going to connect the light now. 750. Disconnect it. 749. It's showing. Well, I guess that answers the question, doesn't it? So the two plates, so disconnect my focus cell. <clears throat> okay. The focus cell is doing really nice there. So, that gives us a good answer, doesn't it? So, what we've learned from this, what I have learned, I know there's many, many more smart people out there than I am, 
is those two end plates, some are calling them neutral plates, I'm calling them blank plates. Even though they're not hooked to anything, even though they're on the side of the focus cell, in other words, the voltage that's going through the focus cell is not going through these two plates. It's coming back to these plates somehow. Somehow. So it's not going through anything to get to them. It's literally bouncing off of them. And when we hook up a load across them, it definitely puts a load in line with the load that's there. In other words, the focus cell is drawing so much current now, when I put a load across the two blank plates, it actually ups the load current to the cell, which is interesting. So the next question would be, well, I think I've already answered that, and the answer is that if you put a load across it, you're upping the amperage, which is creating more hydrogen. So all in all, we've learned something from this, although some people will never learn. I know that. Uh, at least I'm learning. And that is the current is traveling backwards. How's that? Non-scientific words, but kind of what it's doing, right? The current is going through the focus cell and coming back through these plates on the side. It could be they're charging or becoming capacitance, becoming a capacitor for the cell. I don't know. This is going to be an interesting question, and I know we're going to get lots of super good answers for this. But it does answer a lot of questions in a lot of theories that are out there of what the, quote, neutral plates are doing. But it also brings a lot more questions to the table as well. So, going back through this again, well, what I'm going to do is give you a better view of this. There's a good view of it. One end plate here, one end plate there. This is the focus cell, which has the current going through it. These two plates here have no current going through them. But when I put a load across there, it does create a current. I think the next thing to do is to check the voltage across the focus cell. Let's do that. <coughs> okay. This, this meter right here is showing the voltage across the focus cell while it's at rest. It's 1.14. So what I'm going to do... If I have time here, where are you? Okay, what I'm going to do now is we're going to measure what happens when I run the cell to the voltage across it when I put a load across the two blank plates. Start it off now. And you see we've got 9.92 volts across the focus cell. And I'm going to put my little light cross it. Okay, so we got 9.90 voltage. Now I'm going to take the light off. 9.1. There's our missing volts. On. Off. Interesting, huh? And so you'll see this working. I'll do it in front of the camera. On. This is the voltage across the focus cell. The meter to the right is measuring the amps off. That's the voltage across 
the focus cell changing. I've got to turn this off before I suffocate here. And you'll see the voltage going back down. Take off the light here. So you can see what's happening. 